Um, okay, I'm, I'm kind of restarting my videos um, because I had to redo my YouTube channel. So I kind of thought maybe, I don't know if I'm going to repost all the ones that I had posted, but I will just do a recap of everything. That way you don't have to watch the four that I <laughs> had already done. Um, anyways, I am a new um, Agnes and Dora rep. And I am just kind of, I wanted to make a video series on my journey, how I became a rep, how do you even sign up, how do you get started. Um, so I can kind of tell you how things I fell on my face about and maybe then you can know to do things in the correct order and not waste the time that I've wasted. Um, so welcome. Thank you for watching my video. Um, all right. So I started out by just going to agnesandora.com and um, clicking the I want to be a rep button and filling out their form. And um, and then I sat and waited. I waited, 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 waited. And I started to get worried that, I don't know, that wasn't, that they weren't going to contact me or that maybe they were going to sign me up with a, um, just kind of a random rep from my area. And I had searched for people in my area and kind of haunted their pages a little bit. And I've got really strong feelings about how I think business should be done. Um, I just, I don't like those leggings loops and you gotta add in 50 million people to your group in order to get put in this drawing. And I just, things that are tacky like that, I don't, I don't go for it. So um, I didn't want my upline to be promoting that kind of thing all the time. like. A little bit okay I mean I guess all of us you know I'm not if somebody does that that's okay but um, it's not how I want to get started I want to get started very organically and I don't want to be on a team that pushes those kind of things so um, long story short I didn't want to be assigned to a random person by corporate office um, just based on geography so I started hunting for um, reps that I liked and I found one 40 miles north of me here in Washington. Um, and so I contacted her on her Facebook group. And we ended up talking that day for about an hour. Um, so she actually helped me get signed up. So, um, and then I, and actually the next day I ended up hearing from corporate on my inquiry there. So just so you know, you can sign up either just through corporate and not even have a, a referring rep. Um, but they will just assign you to somebody kind of random. So if you want to kind of find somebody you want to be mentored by and, um, you know, a little more one-on-one, -on -one, I, I recommend finding somebody that you really like. Um, so now I've got my awesome person to be signed up under. Um, and so let me see what, what, what the dealio is on my, my notes that I wrote about my, what I did. Um. So basically, once you sign up, so she helped me through her person that's above her, and they sent me the contract. So I read through the contract, um, and as soon as you sign it, like that day or the next day, they say, okay, um, you can let us know what package you want to order, and we'll get the ball rolling. Like, it's very fast. I have slowed it down. Um, I signed my contract but I have not ordered my package yet um, because I want my, um, I always feel like I end up putting the cart before the horse. So, <laughs> um, so I wanted to have my business checking set up, have my LLC in place or my sole proprietorship. I'm still on the fence about what I'm going to form. There are merits. Don't let somebody tell you just do sole proprietorship. Everybody keeps saying that to me but there really are merits to a, um, an LLC. It costs a little more to form, but um, you know it really ensures that someone can't sue you and um, take your, they can sue you all right. I mean, we're in a sue happy culture, but they can't take your house. They can't go after, because you're basically doing business with a sole proprietorship with your social security number. But when you form an LLC, you get, um, the, someone that sues you can only sue you for what your business is worth, not for what your entire, the roof over your head. Um, so I'm still weighing it out. Um, for the interest of getting started quicker, I may go with the sole proprietorship and then um, transfer over to the LLC. 
So that's an option too. I might just do that. But um, so let's see. My my story was that I filled out the form. I waited. I filled out the form online. Um, okay, I found my rep, forty miles of me. Okay, so we talked about an hour. Um, she answered all my questions. I wrote down everything. Um, um, I signed my contract and that person was from corporate that gave me the contract and they gave me a list of things that they wanted me to send in with the contract. So signed, scanned contract, all seven pages, um, which kit I intended to buy. I needed to know that. Now, I'm sure you've been watching videos already, but there's the um, silver, gold, and platinum kits. Um, 2500 3500 or $5,000. Um, i am not going to tell you what to order. I mean, that's personal preference. I went with the platinum. Um, honestly, it's because I love everything they have. And I think when you go with the smaller one, you you don't get as many of the cool extra things like the tulip tops and the ruffle tunics and the swing tops all the things i think you just get more core items with the smaller one and if that's what you're going for i think you should do that but i'm planning to carry everything and have a wide variety of everything so i'm just gonna let myself right out of the gate do that plus there is a dollar off per item when you go with that level so you're basically getting like, I don't know, three to $500 off. I don't know how many items there are in the kit, but, um, so I told them the large, the largest kit. Um, they also wanted the information that'll be on my business cards. Um, she said name, email, phone number, etc. So I put in, um, my Facebook group name also to be included on the card. If there was room, I don't know if that's gonna be included on my business cards or not. Um, they wanted my shipping address, they wanted the best email and phone number for me, and they wanted the name of my referring rep. So not too bad. Um, okay, so I sent all that stuff in um, a couple days ago, I think it is. And now my next step were clearly um, business license, um, deciding between sole proprietorship or LLC, um, and business checking and savings. Um, side note to that, I went to open this account first and they said come back with your business license and your sole proprietorship or LLC. Um, so you can't open a checking and um, savings account without doing those things. So there you go. I wasted a trip to the bank and um, I should have had that stuff in place. But my reason for thinking I could get the go to the bank first is I don't want to spend any of my personal money um, on the business um, with, I don't know, mixing my personal account for paying for that LLC, for paying for my city business license, for my state business license and start ordering things. I just, I want that business account first so then all my things when I'm tracking are all in one place. But he said, no, you gotta get those things done first and bring it back to us and then we'll start it for you so just fyi for you maybe um so i when it comes to time where i'm um, doing business expenses on my taxes i'll just have to remember that that was in my other account that i paid for that stuff so it's not that big of a deal okay so that's where i'm at um i'm today going to be making my decision on sole proprietorship or llc and um going on all those different um, Department of Revenue website, you know, there's so much that you have to do. Um, I'll probably make another video just um, about your to-do list and your things you should buy. I, but, uh, you know, that would be super quick because the things you should buy list, I've already found 15 million Agnes and Dora specific videos on what you should buy to start your business. Yes, we all know that you need a printer and you need hangers and, and whatever, but I'll touch on that. But I think more the to-do list and what you need to learn in order to be open for business um, is more important. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and maybe I'll make another one in a little bit. Okay, bye.